All right, so let's get into the different mesh types now. And we'll keep it simple with a box for now. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an editable mesh. And meshes and polys are really similar, so we might take a little bit to go through meshes here, and then polys, a lot of the things will overlap. They just added more features, and polys are really like an updated version of meshes. Um, personally, I don't use meshes very much anymore. I tend to use polys, but uh, meshes can be more stable. It's not really that way anymore, but um, the sub-object components of a mesh are the vertex, the edge, face, the polygon, and the element. Vertex is any point on a mesh where face, faces meet. Edge is a segment between two vertices. Uh, face, I think, was what these are called. The face is always a triangle on meshes, and you'll see that meshes always need to be triangulated. And then polygon is a closed area of welded vertices. And then element is an object made up of welded vertices. So again, to illustrate this, let me just get these and break them. Do it here. I hate this selection method. So these are two elements. In, uh, in one editable mesh. When I broke all those vertices, they got all messed up. So these are two elements. Um, so those are the sub-object levels. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, let me get into the operations you can do on each one. So at the vertex level, to run through some of these, uh, first is for selection. This checkbox here is ignore back facing. Uh, I'll show you what that does. If I make a selection here, hit F3 so you can see, it selected everything back here. It selected through the geometry. At times, I'm not going to want that. So if I turn on ignore back facing, it's only going to select the things in front of the geometry. So again, when you're selecting geometry, things to look out for. Uh, show normals are the directions of the normals of the geometry. This will start to be important when we start to shell things in 3D print. You don't want your reverse normals. You need um, all your normals to be in the same direction. And you, this is why the, this side is black and this side has color. It's showing you the directionality of the surfaces. Uh, again, I don't hide at the sub-object level. So here I can start to show soft selection. What that does is it gives us an, a range of influence on the geometry. So I, as I increase my fall off, you can see these change in color. And that's how much area I'm affecting. If you took FUD, you know how soft selection works. But you can start to control how you're pulling it and how you're not. And um, here, it's not as valuable, but we'll use a procedural soft selection later, which is attached to a gizmo. And you can move it around and keep it as an active selection. In that way, it starts to be quite a bit more powerful. So then you have your geometry creation. This is another one I can never get to work. It's for making vertices. Um, delete vertices, that's what you have selected. Attach, detach, break. You can chamfer vertices. <coughs> you turn off soft selection. And you have your slice plane for cutting up geometry. Well, it's because I only had a certain vertice selected. Let me turn that off. I just did Control-A to select them all. Go to my slice plane. 
as I move that up, it'll it'll add more vertices. Weld, it's the same. Make planar, we'll end up using quite a bit, but uh, just show if I rotate this face and I want to make it planar. Go back to the vertice level. It averages them out. The editable poly ones are much better. Then grid align is if you use grids. I don't use grids very much, but they're here in your helper objects. It's like it's like a UCS um, or C plane in Rhino. How many people know how to use Rhino? Okay, I'll reference Rhino and CAD. And so if, if I'm saying something or making a reference to technique you haven't used before, just let me know. Um, for welding, same as splines. Select two, but there's no fuse. So if you want to weld two vertices that are pretty far apart, you make a bigger range. So it's still not within the threshold. And then you see it snap them together. And then this is for texture mapping, so we're not going to get into that stuff. So that's the vertex level. This geometry is getting pretty ugly, so I'm going to make a new one. 